Hey there everyone, this is Joe from Bullion Now with your weekly Precious Metals Technical Analysis video taking a look at the big four, gold, silver, platinum and palladium. Of course, visit bullionnow.com.au, selling you the best bullion bars and coins, shipped to you worldwide from Melbourne, Australia. Here's our phone number, Australia wide, our online store is coming really, really soon now, so I hear word on the street. Here's email if you prefer it that way, that's fine. And of course, visit us in the store. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, that doesn't make sense to me because you're watching this uh, video. You may have found it via just a regular kind of search, but you should hit the big red subscribe button right there. 266 subscribers as of right now, moving on and up in the world. Instagram.com slash bullion now because we do post Instagram only specials and a bit more of the rarer stuff as well. So you could only get your hands on it via being a follower on Instagram, Facebook.com slash bullion now as well. All right, another interesting week in the precious metals. This is gold on the monthly time frame as of right now. You can see the spike we've had since back in uh, the 1st of April, roughly, that low of approximately 1270, all the way up to right now, uh, about 1430, that's the, the top so far, currently hovering at about 1419, roughly, and this is in US dollar terms, of course. And so let's punch into the daily, because we do this every week, every single Thursday, so basically I just track back seven days to see where we were last time and uh, match it up with what I may have uh, predicted as such. One, two, three, four, five, ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, that's where we were. We had come off the high here of about 1440. We're in this um, descending pattern right here and I was suggesting that if we were going to go lower from here, what the next level was going to be. And I did suggest at approximately between 1375 to 1370 would be the next level roughly. Uh, we have seen it come down pretty close to that. And we did bottom out so far at a low of 1381 and 91 cents. Again, based on US dollars and this particular uh, chart. So different charts might be slightly different, obviously. But look at this in the last couple of days, we had this big huge spike all the way back up to almost uh, that high here of 1440 technically at uh, let's see a high of 14.37 and 70 cents could this be on the very short term could this be a double top yeah, quite potentially what would we need to see uh, in order for it to confirm it to be a double top what is a double top well you can see right here uh, there it's a top right there and a top right there and it's sort of matching each other that's a double double top Let's have a look at Investopedia. Double top definition. A double top is an extremely bearish signal, so bearish meaning going down. Technical reversal pattern that forms after an asset reaches a high price two consecutive times with a moderate decline between the two highs. So you have right here, uh, we've reached that high of 1440, uh, a moderate decline back down to was about 13, as I said, 1381, and then back up to the high. Now it's, it has started heading back down. We're not in double top formation just yet because uh, it is confirmed once the asset price falls below uh, the a support level equal to the low between the two prior highs. So basically it means this, as you can see right here, uh, you come up, you form a uh, support level right there, it comes back up, and if it goes below that support level, then that's pretty darn bearish. So we have yet to do that. So in order for it to be a double top, it would need to come back down to this level right here. And if it broke it even semi-significantly, that's not a good sign and it would be meaning that we very likely would be heading further down. So we're not in a double top, but just keep an eye out for it. What you would want to see preferably uh, is maybe a test of the 18 average of highs right here at approximately 1410 and then a bounce back up from there. That would be quite healthy. But just keep in mind potential double top if it does come anywhere sort of close to here I would be starting to think uh oh. Um, definitely if it breaks for me this level right here, this previous little bottom here, if you can see it about, well, that's the $1,400 mark. If it breaks below 1400 significantly, I'd be thinking we're on our way down here and then potentially further down. If we're moving further down, um, overall, I think, of course, um, gold is uh, indefinitely in a, um, 
a bull market in a long term that is of course that's why we invest in the precious metals but right now the next level down probably looking right here at this old uh, trend line we've I've shown you it many times before but maybe this one right here between this low of about 1050 and this low of about 1120 roughly and you see it coincides right there so if we come down further you'd expect again a touch of that 1370 mark and possibly even down to this trend line just depends where it hits but approximately you know maybe somewhere between 1355 maybe that's your lowest point uh, but that's only if we are or if we do form a double top formation if we are moving higher from here and yeah, there's a potential to move up a little bit higher at least on the weekly time frame you've got the relative strength index we are in overbought territory but we haven't turned the corner yet and as you can see here when you do reach a peak in overbought territory it doesn't tend to hit the peak and then come straight down it does tend to consolidate a little bit so uh, we might hang around in overbought territory for a little bit more suggesting that higher prices could be coming um, if we are uh, then the next level, I think I've mentioned it before, but it's right here at approximately your $1,500 mark. And that was just because it's, for me, a uh, you know a little psychological value. But if we're talking technical, technical, let me pull out of here and do that. That's a little bit better. The technical one, rather than psychological, the technical one for me would be right here at approximately $1,500. $30 roughly because as you can see it's intersecting that line intersecting with these few levels of support right there so if we are continuing higher I would expect a touch of between 1500 to 1530 if we're moving up from here before we see some kind of retracement and we have to at some point see some kind of retracement before um, you know we continue on our merry way up which of course we all believe is going to be the case in the longer term so that is gold I'm going to quickly head over to silver and hopefully this uh, changes back to auto yes it does fantastic all right let's pop in on the daily time frame and count seven days back one two three four five six seven yeah similar to gold we came off a high high here of approximately 1550 I had made that little call in not last week's but the week before's video suggesting that 1550 between 1550 and 1560 might be the uh, short-term high point before we see a retracement we did see that and we were hovering at about 1520 1530 about seven days ago I was suggesting I believe and correct me if I'm wrong I could just correct myself and go look back and look at the video but I couldn't be bothered um, I was, was suggesting around about $15 might be uh, your uh, bottoming bottoming out point if we were to uh, go down further and we did around about $15 roughly I think I said maybe between 15 10 and 15 dollars and we have seen that and since a very quick rise just like gold back up um, I wouldn't necessarily call that a double top formation. I think it needs to get a little bit closer. Um, but as I've mentioned before, if we are heading further down or if we are heading down from here, uh, of course, that next major level, I think uh, I've been talking about, obviously, is about 14.30. Uh, down from here, about 13.90 roughly is your really, really big one. And that one right here, about 13.70. Um, but... I'm, I'm not going to say yes or no whether we're heading up or down from here but if we are heading up from here uh, you've got these couple of levels back here I mentioned last week at $15.80, $15.90 and about $16.20 is that one right there and then you've got the uh, trend line right here which is going through these two levels there we go just takes a little bit of lag time there through that low and that low and again just depends where it hits but let's say if it hit it within the next say we're on the weekly right now if it hit it within the next mm, month which is unlikely but if it did uh, let's see one two three four you'd be looking at a high of around about 1720 but that's just blue sky thinking right now I don't necessarily think it would do that in the next month but hey I would be very very happy to be wrong on to platinum good old XPT so now with XPT we're looking at the weekly time frame here let's pop into the daily very quickly 
and I was suggesting, let's count back seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep, seven. We had yet, uh, actually I did the video on the Friday. Uh, I didn't do it, so that's actually technically six days ago, not seven days ago. But we had yet to have this big rise uh, up through these two points right here, or this point and this point. And I was suggesting that this might be an area of resistance. If it wasn't, this might be an area of resistance. And certainly you can see on the daily time frame a spike up to 840, well, technically we had 846 and 66 cents. And so that was correct, a spike up to there, because you can see it's pretty self-explanatory. You can tell because it was a previous level of support a couple of times. Uh, and since back down and since we've had a recovery. So moving higher from here, let's talk higher rather than lower. Um, lower, you, you know where I stand on the lower. I think it's still, um, well, within this triangle pattern right here. You can see the symmetrical triangle, roughly symmetrical that is. So if we were to head down further, we'd bounce against uh, there. And that is a customer. I'm going to pause this video and then come back after I serve the customer. I'll be right back. And we're back after serving that customer and they were a satisfied customer as all our customers are here at Bullion now. Um, so uh, we're talking about Platinum. Had a quick, we've just seen a tiny little dip in the price since uh, oh, about 10, 15 minutes ago, roughly. But as I was saying, uh, I think what I was saying was uh, the next move down, if we're moving down, that is, you'd be looking at, again, uh, the bottom end here of this trend channel as such, this symmetrical triangle trend channel. And you'd be looking at a, a bounce off there if, you know, if the price is going to continue higher, it might have a, a short-term bounce off there. Uh, but if we're moving higher, as I mentioned the couple of places before, of course, you'll break through here pretty easily if we're heading up here. The next one, this next major one, of course, I've mentioned this one a number of times now at about 875 US dollars because it's... Uh, intersecting through a number of points here, a couple of previous areas of resistance and then a few areas of support. That's a very obvious one, in my opinion, 875. In between there, look, you might be looking at approximately here. Maybe right there is a very short term one at approximately 865, 866. So potentially if we are moving up from here, this is on the daily time frame, what you might see is a move up to approximately around 860, 865 uh, before a short term move back down and then uh, a move back up to 875. I think that is a clear area of resistance just for me. And that's in my opinion, of course, it's not financial advice. And depending on when it hits you, of course, you've got this very long term downtrend line right there. So that would be a definite area of resistance at some point. And lastly, uh, my favorite metal of the moment, only in terms of technical analysis, because look at the run that it's been on. It's been really quite astounding. Although right now it looks like we might just be starting to head down. Let me just have a quick look on the four hour. This is just in the time that I took that quick break to serve the customer. Aha, we are possibly moving down. Let's see, on the four hour. Uh, this is when we came up to uh, it was about 1565 roughly. All the way back down, we posted that slightly newer high. What are we on the four hour here, as I said? Uh, looks like we're bouncing off the 18 average of lows right here. Let me just pop back onto the daily. That's maybe the best idea. Yeah, look at that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to say six instead of seven because it was on Friday that I did the technical analysis, not Thursday. So we had a move up to uh, about 1550. And then I was suggesting that the next move up might be all the way uh, possibly to this next level right here of approximately 1580. And then if we were moving up from there up to the all time high of 1615, 1615 US dollars. Looks like we might be in a slight little down move right now. So if we are heading further down from here, what you would want to see, what you would see, I imagine, is you'd be hitting this old previous. Fibonacci level calculated from 16.15 and the low of about 12.70 and that Fibonacci line, where are we? Right here of the 78.6, that's at about $1,540. So you might see a quick little snap down to $1,540 uh, in the next, well, I'd say 12 hours or so, uh, potentially. 
And that does actually coincide also on the daily time frame right here with the 18 average of highs. Now, I've been talking a lot about the 18 average of highs and lows uh, recently. And I'm not going to go in. I, I honestly, I don't really know all the ins and outs of why it works, but this was actually told to me. It was taught to me, not specifically to me, but through watching their videos uh, by someone named Derek. And he's over at a channel called Money Charts. So if you search YouTube and just search um, Money Charts, for example, uh, you may find his channel. He used to be called Silver Charts. And so a lot of people who have been in the precious metals investment game for well, let's see, since let's say pre-2013, sort of 2013 before that, he was called Silver Charts and then he started getting into the cryptos and he changed his name to Money Charts. Anyway, he was been ta he's been talking a lot over the years about the 18 average of highs and lows, the front weighted average of highs and lows. And I've done my research with it and it really does tend to track very well uh, on certain time frames. Anyway, we might come back down here, seeming to intersect right here at the top here uh, of that uh, 1540 mark, which is a Fibonacci level, and it's touching the 18 average of highs, which we haven't yet touched for quite some time since about the 7th of June. We've been well above the 18 average of highs on the daily time frame, so it's probably due for um, a hit pretty soon. So if we're down from here, in the next 12, 24 hours, then you'll see 1540 as a potential support level. And moving up from here, of course, we've got, let's actually, let's talk moving down just in case uh, this weekly move, which has been quite huge, is set for a uh, retracement, which it probably is soon enough. So if it's retracing further from here, you'd be looking at the 61.8 level of about 1480, um, coming down to the 18 average of highs on the weekly time frame, could be a goer at approximately, right as of right now, that is, if it was to have a big drop right now. Uh, but if it was to do it in the following week, then you're going to see this rise up a little bit. But let's say that's coinciding with this resistance level here. So approximately 1465 would be, I think, the next level of major support if on the weekly time frame we're heading down in palladium from here. Not saying we're heading down in palladium from here, that's just if, of course, not financial advice. If we're moving onwards and upwards from here, of course, you do have that 1615 level, the previous all time high. And let's wait to see where it goes and we'll start talking about. Uh, new all-time highs and where it could go from there. But we'll we'll adjust accordingly after we see what happens in the next uh, few days. So, of course, uh, you do want to be subscribed to the YouTube channel. I've already told you this a million times before. Why haven't you done it? I don't know. So just do it right now. Big red subscriber button right there. Of course, bookmark, bookmark bullionnow.com.au. Follow us on Instagram.com slash bullionnow. And uh, you can keep abreast of what's going on with the gold, silver, platinum and palladium prices via myself. That's Joe at Bullion Now. And of course, just welcome to come in, into the store anytime Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. to speak to me or any one of the other helpful stuff here about your all, all your bullion needs. And give us a call or send us an email. All right, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm waffling on now, so I'm going to uh, leave it at that. Stay safe and we will speak to you soon.